peace. It's me, OGBO. This is Omega Man Codes. Um, this is my segment I call Prison Terms and Sexual Behaviors. Explain. Okay, if you follow my content, you recall me uploading a video, Prison Prostitution. In that video, I tell the tale of, um, I tell the story of Lil' Kim, the notorious Kim, right? <laughs> Lil' Kim, let me give you some backdrop so you can go back and watch the video. Lil' Kim um, was about 5'1", five, 5'2", five, um, real clean, you know, face, no, no hair, um, long hair, brown skin. And I guess if um, you've been out in the sun for several hours, you near dehydration, you're about to pass out, he might resemble a female. Right. Anyway. So Lil' Kim was notorious for turning out the older convicts. You know, it's an honor dorm. Lil' Kim used to go down there on um, commissary day and come back out with several bags of commissary. I'm talking about the brown paper bags filled to the brim with commissary from giving his services, right? So go back and watch that video. I believe it's prison prostitution. Okay. If you watch the video before, leave it in the, um, leave some in the comment to, you know, direct traffic over to that video. All right. Now, Le Kim was on the compound maybe two or three months at this time, right? Um, it's a prison, I mean, a brother I was um, uh, good friends with, um, he was a pastor. Him and I used to, you know, do little friendly debates and things like that. But we carried it, you know, we, we had a great deal of respect for each other, right? Real shop brother, too. Um, I think he was between 25 and 27 out of Petersburg. I can't think of his name. Um, anyway, I've seen him do this several times. You know, a, a, a person come on the compound, he knew, you know, um, he kind of take him under his wing, you know, um, try to get him in church, you know, say they like that type of stuff. So when I started witnessing him walk around the yard with Lil' Kim, I didn't think nothing out of the ordinary about it at first, right? But after several weeks, I'm start, you know, I'm hearing rumors now that him and Lil' Kim getting real close, you know, Lil' Kim, you know, sitting on his bed for long periods of time. Now, if you've done time before, you know, you don't sit on a man's bed. Old heads will tell you, boy, you sit on my bed, you're going to lay in my bed. And by laying in my bed, he don't mean to take a nap. Peanut butter, you know, you gon' you you gonna earn your keep. They call it a punk in the bunk. It, it's sort of like a pig in the blanket. It's a punk in the bunk. <laughs> anyway, so you don't sit on nobody's bed, right? So the 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 guy, the pastor guy, and I, we both work in the kitchen. So and one day I kind of asked him about it, you know, in a joking kind of way, and he starts off with, um, you know, brother, we all fall short and. You know, we're all sinners. And, you know, when a person starts a conversation like this, you know they're guilty. <laughs> you know, he kind of beat around the bush, you know. Um, but he don't all right say it, you know. So shortly after this, I get a visit from a female that <clears throat> that um, did most of my bit with me um, before, you know, I broke up with her. You know, she showed up out the blue. It was a Saturday. So we sitting in the visitation room and I see the pastor's wife. Let me give you some story on her, right? Um, he was locked up maybe four or five years and they got married when he was in prison. I think they was married maybe two years at this point, right? Um, so she's sitting there and she, she got this look on her face of, you know, I can't really describe, but it's not pleasant, right? He comes out shortly after after I'm there with my visit. Sitting beside me is my boy Frank Nettie out of West End. Shout out Frank. Um, he's sitting beside me with his with his girl, right? So dude walk up, the pastor walk up to his wife and they do a little embrace, you know, but she immediately starts in like, so who is this guy? She called Lil' Kim by his government name. I can't remember it. You know, who is this guy you had me uh, had me put, 
had him put me on his visitation list. And he's like, wait a minute, baby. I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to explain it to you. I'm explaining it to you. So shortly after, Lil' Kim come out, right? And you can tell that Kim is homosexual, right? So he's walking over to them. And she's looking at Kim. She's looking at him. I'm looking at Frank. Frank looking at me. Because we know it's about to go down, right? <laughs> I get to that. So Kim walk over there and and the wife like, what the what the hell is what what's this? What's this? You know, he started telling her, look, boo, you know, um, I've been locked up a long time and you know, blah blah blah. Basically, I'm fooling with, with Kim and I'm I got feelings. For Kim, you know, he tells his wife that he's falling in love with Kim. Yeah. Tune in for more prison terms and sexual behaviors explained. This OGBO. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Go check out that video, um, Prison Prostitution, to learn more about Lil' Kim. And I'm going to come back in a day or two and Throw something else out here. It's going to blow your mind. Peace.